Good morning and welcome to today's reflection for Wednesday the 11th of May. Recently at one of our worship services we were encouraged to plant some sunflower seeds with a view to having a good dis big display at the front of the church in a few weeks time. We were reminded of the importance significance of the sunflower and reference was made to its symbolic importance to the people of Ukraine. <clears throat> it is Ukraine's national flower and is becoming a symbol of resistance against the country's invasion by Russian forces. Its brightness and lively form represent the antithesis of the destruction now being suffered by the Ukrainian people. I'd not particularly thought that the sunflower symbolised forgiveness, but when I looked it up on Wikipedia, there was an interesting reference to a book entitled The Sunflower on the Possibilities and Limits of Forgiveness by Simon uh, Wiesenthal, a Holocaust survivor. And he recounts his experience with a mortally wounded Nazi during World War II. The title comes from Wiesenthal's observation of a German military cemetery where he saw a sunflower on each grave and feared his own placement in an unmarked mass grave. In 1943, at the height of World War II and the Holocaust, a group of forced labourers from the Lemberg concentration camp were sent to a converted army hospital to clear medical waste. Wiesenthal was summoned by a nurse to the bedside of a dying Nazi soldier, <coughs> Karl Seidel. The soldier told him that he was seeking the Jew's forgiveness for a crime that had haunted him since it was committed one year earlier. He confessed to having participated in, in the destruction by fire and armaments of a house full of 300 Jews. He stated that as the Jews tried to leap out of windows to escape the burning building, he and other soldiers shot them. After Seidel finished his story, he asked Wieselfeld to forgive him and Wiesenthal then left the room without saying anything. But the next day the nurse informed Wiesenthal that the soldier had died. The nurse told him that Seidel had left his belongings to him, but Wiesenthal refused to take them and told the nurse to have them sent to Seidel's mother. Wiesenthal ruminated on whether or not he should have forgiven Seidel through the rest of his experiences in the concentration camp system. He posed the ethical dilemma of whether or not he should have forgiven him as a result of this and invited people to say how they might respond in the um, second part of the book. How difficult it must be to talk about forgiveness when such atrocities have been committed. What did Jesus say about this dilemma? He said that believers should forgive others because God has forgiven them. The Bible says in Luke 6 verse 37, Forgive and you will be forgiven. There are many references in the Bible where we are reminded about how important it is to forgive. Not only is it important for our spiritual health, there is plenty of evidence to show how important it is for our emotional and physical health. However, it's so easy to put into words, but must be much harder to do. Loving Father, perhaps the sunflower is more a symbol of hope and happiness than forgiveness. We can't imagine some of the horrific effects of war and destruction and the resulting trauma, hatred and resentment. 
which follow. Especially when people lose loved ones and their own homes and possessions. We pray especially today for all those who will not feel able to forgive. And we pray for ourselves that in everyday situations, when we feel we've been wronged, that we can find the courage and grace to forgive and hopefully to be forgiven when we have wronged others. Amen. Oh,